This software is going to show you how to use the TI-84 calculator to collect data from a photo gate. We're going to use a program called Easy Data. To access it, press the Apps key. When the menu pops up, scroll down until it gets to highlight Easy Data. Once the Easy Data is highlighted, you can press the Enter key. A little screen will pop up telling you the software is running. And then the screen is going to look something like this. And what happens here is that the keys underneath the screen correspond to little buttons on the screen. You can't push the buttons on the screen, but you can push the keys right below, the Y equals window, zoom, trace, and graph. Now in this case it says mode, time graph, 20 seconds. That's the wrong mode. So if your calculator says this, then we need to go through and set it up and tell it what mode to do and what kind of probe is connected to it. But if it doesn't say this, if it says something else instead, like the gate timing mode, then you're okay. You can skip part of this video and go right down to step six, but we're on step two right now. So let's say it says time graph 20 seconds. I'm going to press the setup button, and when I press the setup button, the screen's going to change. It's going to say other sensors, and that's what I'm doing, connecting something it doesn't recognize. And then I tell it where it's plugged in. So it's not plugged in channel one, it's actually plugged in the digital sonic number one. So I scroll down or press number five to highlight Digital Sonic and then click on the next button, which is actually the zoom button on the keys on the, on the calculator. Then I can tell it what I have connected to it. In this case, I have a photo gate, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to press the button underneath next. And now it says gate timing, and that's what I want. So this is step six. So some of the calculators are going to pop up, and they're automatically going to say mode gate timing, and this is where you're going to start. So what I'm going to do from here is pretty simple. I'm going to go to the setup button, the button underneath the word setup, and I want to make sure that it knows that we're doing the gate timing. So I'm going to go ahead and double check that. And that's going to say the width of the flag, so it can actually calculate the average velocity. Well, in this case, for the projectile motion lab, it's a ball traveling through the gate, and the ball is one inch in diameter, or 0 .024, uh, 0.0254 meters. So that's what I'm going to type in for the diameter. And then I'll click on the button underneath the OK uh, tab. And now I'm all set. So I'm going to hit start. Sometimes you might have to hold the button down just a little bit so it registers what you're doing. So give me a little warning if there's data already collected there. And I'm going to click OK so I can just kind of move on with this. And then it's going to wait for three beeps and then I can begin my experiment. So by now it's probably already beeped. And I'm all set. And I can start collecting it. So I can run something through the gate. So here I have a time, 0 0.01234 seconds. So that's my time, and I'll do my trial numbers. Now don't depend upon the calculator. Go ahead and write down the time now while it's showing on the screen. So if something happens, you don't lose your data. Also be careful because sometimes you might put your hand through there by accident when you're resetting the ball, and you'll, your time will change. Just keep in mind, if your hand move goes through there, it's going to give you the wrong time. You want the time for the ball to go through the gate. So I'm going to click on Stop because I'm done collecting whatever data I need to do. And I'm not going to do anything with the graph it's going to show me. So I'm actually going to go to the main menu at this point. Just skip all this and go right to main. And I'm all set. Finished using the software and I got the times I need.